Hi, Beauties and Curls. We are back with another video, and today we are back into Project Pan. I'm so excited. What we are doing in makeup, I'm so excited. We are still saving $10,000. I've heard that you guys are really enjoying the series, and it's encouraging you to save some money and look in your stash and see what you already have. I have not forgotten about can I dupe that? We want to go ahead and do the finish nine by New Year's. Now this is a collab, my first Project Pan collab, which I am really excited about because it is with my girl Kristen K here on YouTube. Y'all, she is such an inspiration. First of all, I think she puts me in a place of zen and I was really attracted to her channel. She really shows great progress and she just gives like thorough information in terms of a project pan really knows how to encourage you and that's what attracted me to her and I have loved her channel ever since I definitely hope you guys check her out and subscribe to her channel um it's amazing she has really great d reviews and I feel like her reviews are based upon her going through and doing her project pans and she really you know gave me some great tips so I really encourage you guys to check her out First of all, let me just say that some of the items that you did see in my finished 7 by fall will be rolling over. And by the way, this is a rolling project pan, meaning that if I run out of something, I'm going to replace it with something else. I just do better and I feel like it keeps my momentum going. And just one of the tips, if you're starting a project pan, go ahead and put something in there that you absolutely love. It's going to keep you motivated because you're going to be using it all the time. So it will help you balance out and use other products in conjunction with the ones that you love. So the first one that I'm going to talk about, and I have not marked these, but you're actually going to see where the mark is because... I did not shake this up and this is the NARS Weightless Luminous where you can see the separation is actually where the foundation has ended and started actually right here so I'm really excited I totally want to finish this out and you'll be getting monthly you'll be getting monthly updates so it is currently October so the next one you'll get is November then you'll get one December and then the first of January is when you'll see my finale so I'm really excited I definitely think I can get through this I have fallen in love with this foundation it's what I'm wearing no I'm wearing something else today I'm testing another foundation for you guys but this I have really fallen in love with just because of how lightweight it is you can see where the liquid is moving. This one does separate and it does say shake well. So you do have to give it a shake. It does have a pump. And if you want to see the progress, uh, I did do a review a while back of this uh, foundation. So that's the reason why I want to get through it. Will I repurchase it again? At first I said no, but I have fallen in love with this. And Project Pan really allows you to get to know the makeup. And I feel like... People that are project panners give more thorough reviews. I will say that. And that's just something that I have found out just because they get to know it and they are using it month after month. So if you want to get a really thorough review of an item, just not a first impression, I highly recommend to check out what the people here in the project pan community are saying about their products. So yeah. And by the way, I am in the shade Syracuse for anybody that wants to know. The next item that I'm going to talk about, this is the NYX First Base Primer Spray. This reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Primer Water, but in a smaller version. You get 2.02 ounces of product, and this is very, very low. I'll probably have this totally done by the next update, but I can tell you it is like, see where the E in, in what is that, in Vaprasor? I don't know that looks like it's in French where you see the EN that is where it is yeah that's where it is so I'll probably be done with that by the first update this item I am using now this is going to look pretty disgusting but that means that is well loved this is the Eve Pearl this is the Magic Salmon Concealer Trio I've had this for a while and I'm about to hit pan I don't know if you see that but it's a bit creamy so the product does move around but right in here I'm about to hit pan so I'm gonna concentrate on this in October this one November and hopefully this one December I want to or maybe this one October because this I don't know I mix them up but my goal for the first update is to have hit pan at in it 
least one of the trios and one of the pans in the trio. So that I am getting through. This is the Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is in the shade Medium Deep. And a lot of times when I can't see the top, usually when I squeeze something out, see the air is making it. But what I wanted to do, I saw another project panner actually take a clip and actually show the progress that way. I thought that was really, really smart. But there's a lot of air. But this, I promise you, this is pretty much almost gone. Um, this I am going to mark and you'll see where this one is. And another way to find out where it is, I can see it right now. It's right here. So I'm going to actually mark it there and you will see it in the update. Next item is a lip pencil. Remember I talked about that some of the hardest products for me to get through are lip pencils and lip products. I wanted to put a lip product just to see how long it would take me to get through it. But this is in one of my favorite colors. This is in Nutmeg. This is a NYX lip liner. And I am going to mark it on a sheet of paper where I started it. And by the next update, you'll see like hopefully you'll see some progress just because lip liners probably because I hate sharpening these things which means that I probably should get more retractable rather than pencils but anyway this is in the shade nutmeg I have it on my lips today I really do like the NYX lip liners if you feel like the MAC lip liners are too pricey or the NARS highly recommend in the next one okay so you're not going to be able i'm putting stuff in here that i have had for a while but this is the shade trooper and it's an eyeliner this is actually one of my favorite eyeliners it is not a like felt tip this is just a whole bunch of brushes like a million little brushes on a it looks like a felt tip but I actually really like it I need to get through this because I've had this for a while the letters are going off and I know you're not going to be able to see the progress in terms of like all the time like I did before that's what's making me kind of like I'm thinking through my project pans right now but let me know because I don't know how do you guys measure for OGs that are project panners how do you measure items like this because how else would you figure out when you're out of this but I am going to put this in my project pan because I need to get through this okay another item I want to put in the project pan is another blush because I did so well on the last project pan this one is a cream blush by makeup forever I want to get through this this is in the shade 315 and it is so beautiful and I thought because it's the fall and winter that this is something that I definitely the goal is to hit pan on this and um, I do basically want to finish it but let's take baby steps right so I want to hit pan on this and I'm really excited because I feel like cream blushes are really good in the fall and winter just because powder kind of dries your skin out. And my cheeks are one of the places that I get really dry. So putting something hydrating I thought would be a good way to go. So I'm really excited about this and I will show you how this looks in the in the second update. I feel like the intro was the use of really showing you where it starts because you won't be able to see the progress anyway. You, it's just here to show you like what I'm incorporating but in terms of seeing progress you're really not going to know unless it's something like this. So yeah. Okay another product I'm putting in here which is a bit different. This is the Steeler All Over Shimmer. This is in the shade Kitten Shimmer. It's like a highlighter. I want to get through this because I've had this for a while but I really 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 do like this so I'll be incorporating this in my moisturizers in my foundations just all over the face um, on the high points of my cheeks as a liquid eyeliner I think that this would be really really good and as you can see it's pretty full like I mean it's pretty full I want to get through this and see how much I at least would be really happy if I got halfway through this by New Year so that is the goal and I would say where the L is is where we are aiming for but this I am incorporating in my 
finish nine by New Year's. I wanna put some things that are kinda difficult for me. This is a more challenging one. And this is the Makeup Forever. This is the Aqua Rouge. This is in the lip color number one. And it is actually right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a line right here. So this is my ninth item. I want to get through, not necessarily the clear, because I'll use clear all the time, but I want to get through this. This is kind of like a liquid lipstick form. Um, I like it because you can, I like it because it smells good. It is a color that I would use every day, but I really need to get through this because I've had this for a while and I, this is just something I can throw in my purse. I really like how it looks on the lips and it's a neutral tone. So it's already almost halfway. I wanna to just totally finish this out. So, so those are my items in my finish nine by New Year's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go ahead and check out Kristen's channel and her video, her intro for the finish nine by New Year's. I hope you guys enjoyed this project pan. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you're panning down in the comments what you're getting through or what is your goal for before new year's so let me know while the year is ending let me know what your goals are for the year or the beginning of the year or what are you finishing out thanks so much for watching and i'll see beautifully you in the next video bye loveys